Welcome back to our JavaScript tutorial series. In today's video, we are diving into the exciting world of Ajax. We will learn what Ajax is, why it is important in web development and explore how it helps us create dynamic and interactive web applications. So if you are ready to level up your JavaScript skill, let's get started. What is Ajax and why it is important in web development? Ajax stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. It is not a programming language but rather a set of web development techniques that allows us to update parts of a web page without needing to reload the entire page. This brings a whole new level of interactivity and responsiveness to our web applications. So why is Ajax important? Well imagine you are using a social media platform and you want to post a comment without refreshing the entire page. Ajax allows you to send a request to the server in the background, receive a response and update just the relevant section of the page, making the user experience seamless and smooth. The role of Ajax in creating dynamic and interactive web applications Ajax plays a crucial role in creating dynamic and interactive web applications. It enables us to fetch data from a server and update parts of a web page dynamically without disrupting the user's interaction. This means we can build applications that feel more like desktop software where information updates instantly and seamlessly. Let's consider an example. Imagine you are shopping on an e-commerce website and you want to see the product reviews without reloading the entire page. By using Ajax, the website can retrieve the reviews from the server in the background and update just the section of the page, providing you with the latest information without any interruption. Understanding Asynchronous Requests and Responses One of the key concepts of Ajax is Asynchronous Requests and Responses. In traditional web development, when you submit a form or click a link, the browser reloads the entire page. But with Ajax, we can send requests to the server in the background while the user continues interacting with the page. Asynchronous means the multiple actions can happen at the same time. With Ajax, we can initiate a request, continue to executing other JavaScript code and handle the response when it arrives. This keeps the user interface responsive and prevents any delays caused by waiting for the server to respond. Using XML HTTP request object to make Ajax requests To make Ajax request in JavaScript, we use the XML HTTP request object commonly known as XHR. It provides us with the ability to send HTTP requests to a server and handle the responses. Let's see an example of how to use the XHR object. In this example, we create a new XML HTTP request object and define a callback function to handle the response. We then use the open method to specify the request type and URL and finally the send method sends the request to the server. 
Once the server responds, our callback function is triggered and we can access the response data using the response text property. We can then process the data and update our web page accordingly. Handling AJAX responses and updating the DOM dynamically. When an AJAX request is made and the server responds, we need to handle that response and update our web page dynamically. Let's see how we can achieve that. In this example, we have an HTML element with the ID result where we want to display the response from the server. We retrieve that element using get element by ID. After receiving the response, we update the content of the element using the text content property. Error handling and handling different response formats. When working with AJAX, it is important to handle errors that may occur during the request or response handling process. Additionally, we often encounter different response format such as JSON or XML. Let's see how we can handle these situations. In this example, we check the HTTP property of the XML HTTP request object to determine if the request was successful. If it is 200, the request was successful and we can proceed to handle the response. If the code status indicates an error, we can log the error using console.error. Additionally, if the response is in JSON format, we can use the json.parse method to convert it into a JavaScript object that we can work with. This allows us to extract the data and update our web page accordingly. 
क्रॉस ओरिजिन रिसोर्स शेयरिंग एंड सिक्योरिटी कंसिडरेशन क्रॉस ओरिजिन रिसोर्स शेयरिंग इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट सिक्योरिटी मैकेनिज्म दैट गवर्नस हाउ ए वेब पेज इन वन डोमेन कैन एक्सेस रिसोर्स फ्रॉम अनदर डोमेन लेट्स ब्रीफली अंडरस्टैंड हाउ कोर्स वर्क एंड द सिक्योरिटी कंसिडरेशन इन्वॉल्व सपोज यू हैव ए वेब पेज होस्टेड ऑन एग्जाम्पल डॉट कॉम दैट मेक्स एन एजेक्स रिक्वेस्ट टू एन ए पी आई होस्टेड ऑन ए पी आई डॉट एग्जाम्पल डॉट कॉम द सर्वर होस्टिंग द ए पी आई नीड्स टू एक्सप्लिसिटली अलाउ रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम अदर डोमेन्स यूजिंग कोर्स हेडर्स अदरवाइज द ब्राउजर विल ब्लॉक द रिक्वेस्ट ड्यू टू द सेम ऑरिजिन पॉलिसी वेन इम्प्लीमेंटिंग एजेक्स रिक्वेस्ट इट इज क्रूशियल टू कंसिडर द सिक्योरिटी इम्प्लीकेशन We should ensure that the server-side APIs are properly secured and we have appropriate access controls in Palace. Furthermore, it is essential to validate and sanitize any user input to prevent security vulnerabilities like cross-site scripting attacks. And that's a wrap on our detailed introduction to Ajax. Remember to experiment with these concepts on your own and explore the endless possibility of Ajax in web development. In our next video we will explore how to leverage the power of jquery to simplify ajax development and take our skill to the next level so stay tuned and keep coding thanks for watching and see you soon